The torpedo, a weapon of unmatched lethality, has revolutionized naval warfare for over two centuries. From its early days as a stationary explosive device to the advanced self-propelled systems we see today, torpedoes have stood the test of time. Their size, cost, and sophistication vary widely depending on where they're made. Take the US Navy's MK-48 heavyweight torpedo. Packed with cutting-edge tech, each unit costs a staggering $4 million. Compare that to India's Varanastra, which, while effective, relies on simpler designs and costs just $1.2 to $1.4 million. Nations like the US and Germany invest heavily in advanced systems, while others, like China and India, focus on cost-effective solutions that meet strategic needs. These differences reveal more than economics. They show how deeply a country is committed to staying ahead in the arms race. Let's discover the history of torpedoes, their evolution over time, and most importantly, the sophisticated manufacturing process behind these extraordinary weapons. To truly appreciate this engineering masterpiece, let's first explore its origins and design evolution. The history of torpedoes dates back to the early 19th century, around the 1800s, as they first emerged as a stationary explosives designed to destroy enemy ships. American engineer and inventor Robert Fulton is credited with the earliest recorded use of torpedoes. His invention involved enclosing gunpowder in a watertight container, which would explode when placed beneath enemy ships, causing devastating damage. These stationary torpedoes gained significant attention during the Crimean War between 1854 and 1856, where the Russian government employed them to protect strategic locations like Sevastopol, the Sea of Azov, and Kronstadt. While they didn't cause significant damage, they proved effective as defensive tools by deterring enemy ships. The next major invention came when Fulton proposed turning torpedoes into offensive weapons. By attaching an explosive charge to a boom or using towed mechanisms, he sought to make torpedoes more mobile. These early mobile designs allowed torpedoes to impact enemy ships either by direct contact or electrical detonation. The breakthrough came in 1866 when Robert Whitehead, inspired by the ideas of an Austrian Marine artillery officer, developed the first self-propelled torpedo. This revolutionary design featured a two-cylinder compressed air engine that could propel the torpedo at a speed of 6.5 knots for 200 yards. The compressed air, stored at 350 psi, was a significant technological leap and is still used in some modern torpedo systems today. Development of the electric torpedo started around July 1915. The propulsion motor of the proposed electric torpedo was designed to act as a gyroscope to stabilize the torpedo in its direction. Throughout the 20th century, torpedoes evolved rapidly, with advancements in propulsion systems, guidance mechanisms, and warhead technology. By World War II, new designs were created that could be deployed from aircraft, submarines, and destroyers. This new development gave countries like the US and Germany an advantage during the war. Modern torpedoes now include lightweight and heavyweight designs, advanced electric propulsion systems, and sophisticated guidance systems that make them highly effective in combat. Just like any other weapon, torpedo manufacturing is also a complex process that involves designing, fabricating, and assembling various components together. The process is a combination of electrical, mechanical, and chemical engineering disciplines, which made the manufacturing effective. Now, let's take a closer look at the key stages. Before production begins, engineers use advanced computer simulations to design the torpedo. These simulations help optimize its shape for hydrodynamic performance and ensure the components can withstand underwater conditions and maintain their functions reliably. Prototypes are then built and rigorously tested to refine the design. After a torpedo design has been vetted and approved through computer simulations and prototyping, the next thing is fabrication. The manufacturing process starts with fabricating the individual components that make up the torpedo, starting with the hole fabrication. The hole, manufactured from chosen materials like aluminum alloys, titanium, or advanced composites, is the outer cylindrical casing of the torpedo that houses the torpedo's internal components, including the warhead. These materials are used for their corrosion resistance ability, their endurance to underwater pressure, and their ability to minimize hydrodynamic drag when the torpedo is launched. The hull's design plays a crucial role in ensuring the torpedo maintains the right balance between strength and weight. The precision in the design ensures the torpedo's ability to function under extreme pressure, typical of deep sea environments. Moreover, 
The choice of materials ensures that the hull withstands the forces encountered during launch and penetration, as well as the harsh underwater conditions. After the sections of the hull have been manufactured, they are welded together using advanced techniques like tungsten inert gas welding to ensure strength and seams that are leak-proof. The surface of the hull is then coated with anti-corrosion and anti-fouling coatings to protect it against saltwater damage and marine growth. The propulsion system in a torpedo is also located in the hull. It is a crucial component responsible for generating thrust, which enables the torpedo to travel through the water when launched towards its target. Various propulsion systems are employed in torpedo manufacturing depending on the design, range, and operational requirements. Propulsion systems may utilize battery-powered or combustion-based engines, which are fabricated to minimize machine noise and enhance the torpedo's efficiency. These systems drive the propeller to propel the torpedo during launch. They are typically found in short-range or stealthy torpedoes due to their quiet operation. The battery's power supply is carefully calibrated for optimal duration, ensuring the torpedo can function at its peak until it reaches its target. Another form of propulsion system is the pump jet propulsion, which uses an impeller that draws water into the torpedo and excels it at high speed. This reduces noise and makes the torpedo hard to detect by enemy vessels. This technology is commonly found in modern torpedoes for stealthy operations. Unlike traditional screw propellers, pump jets minimize cavitation, which is the formation of bubbles that produce sounds that would give away a torpedo's position. The pump jet propulsion technology plays a key role in modern underwater combat scenarios, where stealth and surprise are critical. The advanced engineering used in these propulsion systems ensures that the torpedo moves with minimal detection while still maintaining enough speed and power to strike effectively. The integration of the guidance system is one of the most advanced aspects of torpedo technology. They act as the brain of the torpedo. The guidance system often uses sonar, radar, or acoustic signals to navigate through the water. The sensors track the target's position, and the data is processed by an onboard computer. The software integration uses custom navigation and targeting algorithms that allow the torpedo to adjust its course in real time. The software then undergoes rigorous testing to ensure reliability in various underwater scenarios. Other components like the processors, memory modules, and communication interfaces are also soldered onto the boards using automated systems. Once the sensors and circuit boards are prepared, they are placed into shock-resistant compartments within the hull of the torpedo. This ensures that the sensitive electronic systems are protected from the extreme forces they experience during launch and underwater travel. Having done with the guidance system, the warhead is the next in line of fabrication. The warhead contains the explosive materials in the warhead casing. The warhead casing is fabricated from high-strength alloys to ensure it withstands impacts during launch until the torpedo detonates. High-performance plastic bonded explosive, like the infamous C4, are prepared under strict safety protocols, after which the material is shaped and placed into the warhead casing. The warhead plays a critical role in the torpedo's effectiveness. The design of the warhead ensures that it has a significant enough explosive charge to destroy the target, whether it's a large vessel or a smaller submarine. The internal structure of the warhead must be robust to withstand the intense shock during launch, but also sensitive enough to detonate reliably once it reaches its target. For assembling, the explosive's payload is encased in a protective shell and the fusing mechanisms are installed and tested for reliability. Due to the nature of the explosives, safety mechanisms are also added to prevent accidental detonation of a torpedo. The reliability of the warhead system is critical because without a dependable detonation mechanism, even the most sophisticated torpedo would be ineffective in combat situations. The power unit provides energy to run the torpedo. It can be in the form of fuel or battery systems. For torpedoes that are combustion-based, the fuel cells are fabricated to be able to store and release energy efficiently. The power unit must be efficient to ensure long-range capabilities. Whether using advanced chemical cells or long-lasting batteries, the power unit provides the energy to maintain propulsion and power all the onboard electronics. Once the individual torpedo components are fabricated, the components are placed sequentially into the torpedo hole starting with the propulsion system at the rear position, followed by the guidance system, the power unit, and the warhead, which is placed up front. 
The components are usually assembled in a clean, controlled environment to ensure that no dust, dirt, or other contaminants compromise the torpedo's functionality. For electronically controlled torpedoes, essential electrical wiring and fluid lines are connected between subsystems in the hole. The hole is then closed and sealed to make it watertight and resistant to pressure. The entire assembly process requires precision, as even a slight misalignment of components could jeopardize the torpedo's operational capabilities. After assembling, the torpedo undergoes rigorous testing processes to assess its performance and stability. The assembled torpedo is tested in underwater ranges to determine its hydrodynamics, while the guidance and control systems are thoroughly tested for reliability. For electric dive torpedoes, the electrical system testing is usually more rigorous and extensive. The explosiveness of the torpedo is tested by the use of dummy warheads, ensuring safety and functionality. The full system integration test also takes place to ensure all the components are working together as expected, which is critical for its overall effectiveness. During testing, various scenarios are simulated to ensure that the torpedo performs correctly under different operational conditions, such as varying depths, water salinity, and temperature. The testing ensures that the torpedo will not only reach its target but also function as intended, regardless of the challenging conditions of the battlefield. Once testing is complete, the torpedo is ready for deployment. The exterior of the torpedo is coated with anti-fouling paint to maintain efficiency and prevent marine growth. In some torpedoes, camouflage patterns are applied to reduce visibility in water. So what do you think about the creation of such a sophisticated and lethal weapon? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more explorations. Thank you for watching.